Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today we have a very special video. Bao does a daily recap and he goes into live trading with some examples and also some testimonials from our members that he brings on live. But today we're going to focus on the first bounce strategy on ticker symbol RHE and low hanging fruit MBIO and FBIO and also MBRX, which is the forward looking event and how Bao traded it. And to top it all off, ticker symbol UXIN. Today was a fantastic lesson for any trader of any level to realize when you're wrong, when to stop out on a trade, and using defined key levels for risk and reward and risk management. And while today is just a preview of the full length video that's nearly three hours long, if you guys wanna watch the full length video or any of our exclusive content, then become an exclusive MIC member. Hey, Jacob, what's up, brother? Hi, I'm good. Thanks. It's actually my fifth day in MIC, so uh, it's really exciting for me. This is your birthday? I uh, know fifth day in MIC. Oh, only fifth day? Oh, no. Yeah. How's, um, it so, how's it so far, man? Uh, it's really amazing. I actually just had the chance to talk to Aloha Trader, uh, Austin, a little while ago, and man, he was amazing. And uh, yeah, everything so far is really great. Cool, man. All right, so you have a question? Uh, yeah, I was wondering... Uh, for the first bounce, how important is the reading of the tape uh, and the level two? Um, so when you did your RH, uh, you trade earlier this morning at 328. Um, I saw the line that you had written earlier, but I was wondering if you're also watching just the tape in level two. So uh, I, the volume is really bad for, from my side. So uh, can you slowly repeat the question? How important mm. is the I'm sorry. Uh, the tape and level two. This thing happens so damn fast. Um, so let me, okay, let me, let me talk about reading this tape. Everyone talks about reading tape, reading tape. It's bullshit. Don't, don't focus on reading tape, okay? So um, as a beginner, do not fucking read the tape. Because of this, you're going to misread the tape. It's like reading Chinese, dude. It's like these guys are tattooing a Chinese symbol to their arm, thinking it's like, oh, I'm going to uh, tattoo uh, flow like water. It turns out like, you know, like drink water or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? The Ariana Grande chick did the same thing on her freaking finger. Remember, she tattooed some Chinese, uh, a Japanese symbol. It's all wrong. Yeah, I saw that. So that's what happens when you read tape. Okay, if you misread the fucking tape. You're dead. Tape. It's like so. Look at the lines. Okay, this 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 is how I. This is the only time I read tape. Okay, I read tape when I see if there's a refresh seller or a refresh buyer. That's the only tape I read. So at the line, when it hits the line, let's say the 320 line, I look at the print and I see like this guy has a thousand shares shown. I'm just making it up, right? Uh, and then someone hits it for 2,000 shares and he keeps refreshing the selling. That's reading tape. So there's a, there's, a, there's a hidden buyer or a hidden seller. That's the only tape I fucking read. Because uh, everything else is like Chinese, man. I'm, I mean, I'm not Chinese, but <laughs> I, I think I know what I'm doing, but fuck, if I misread it, I'm dead. So I don't, I don't look at tape like what people think. It's like, dude, you can look at tape and, think, and, and, and see whatever the hell you want to see, man. Who the hell, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, what I look at is the line. So I first start the line, and then I look at the level two to see, to see if people are buying and selling the exact quote, right? Um, so that's how I, I look at tape. And then another time when I look at tape is this, during a parabolic, when I want to know what the top is or the bottom is. So, so I'm going to explain to you how to read the tape on that. Okay, so this is a good lesson okay. here. So when it stops parabolics, it runs and runs and runs, right? And so the way I know that it starts to slow down and becomes a top is I look at this. I look at the prints. Uh, Hey, what's your name, man? Mr. Don't Short Parabolics with No Resistance. <laughs> hi, hi, can you hear me? Before 11.30 a.m. That's exactly right, bro. See? You don't short this crap. You're exactly right. Yeah, can you hear me? Hey, what's your name? I'm John. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's up, man? Nothing much, man. Just uh, took a small loss today. A little paper cut, same thing. Uh, same plan you had on um, RHE. So, just a boring day. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to just, you know, I've been at MIC for a while now. I just want to say thank you for everything you're doing. You and the rest of the team are really definitely uh, helping a lot of traders and definitely 
you know, adding to the edge. So I really appreciate that. Cool, man. Thanks for reaching out, John. No problem. All right, guys. Welcome to the Daily Recap. It is April 22nd, 2019. And today we are in for a treat. I lost money. And I always said I want to teach you guys when I lose money. Those are the most important type of lessons in my opinion because um, everybody knows what they, they need to do when they win, right? I mean, take your money off the table. Uh, when you win, the only problem you have is selling too early and leaving money on the table. But those are all good problems to have. But what happens when you freaking lose, man? No one ever talks about what happens when you lose. That's because no one loses, right, guys? Everyone wins. Everybody is a winner. No one ever loses. Um, if you lose, you should uh, buy the DVD, and within the chapter of the DVD, it'll teach you how not to lose money, right? So you lose money by paying some other furu more money to learn to lose. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we won't go there. But uh, So today's agenda is this. I, we, we actually – this is cool, right? We, we are now – professional man i actually have an agenda a little syllabus here what we're going to go through here so just remind just this so it can remind me what we can talk about okay uh, so the the lessons we got today okay so we're going to do the we're going to talk about the rhe that is the hot chick of the day and then some low hanging fruits on how we do that and this guy has been killing shorts all week all oh, last week too, okay? So let's do this, okay, let's just start. So when we woke up today, there was not many moving, man. What was moving was RHE, TNXP. I'm gonna put that around there somewhere. TNXP, which gave zero shot, okay? I, I actually put shorts all over this area here. So these are the pivot lines for T. So I'm using the cover TNXP really quickly. So these are the pivot lines. Once again, we have videos. Uh, Joe made some great videos on how to put these pivot lines onto your system. What I'm using now is Realtek. You don't have to use Realtek. This is like $500 a month. Uh, but they draw the lines for me. But you can get it for free with DOS and Think or Swim. So you do not have to pay 400 bucks a month like I do. Uh, it's just I've been using this thing for like 20 years. So my eyeballs are used to this archaic type of line chart. I also have a bunch of other type of charts, candles, volume distribution bars, but I rely mostly on my lines and my pivot lines. Okay, we won't go into this because there's a bunch of videos already on pivot lines and everything else. Just know that, uh, thanks Joe, he made a great video on how to add pivot lines to your thinkorswim and also DOS. So it's in the vault, the video library vault, okay? So when we woke up today, TXP was running and I was like, cool. So I placed a bunch of orders, man. So when I woke up, it was around here. So I had orders at 267 all the way up to three bucks. And then when it started to tank down here, guys, at 240, I put my, I removed my order at 250s over here. So basically, I'm going from line to line. Unfortunately, it never bounced back to that line. So what can you do, right? I'm not going to chase it. I'm like, cool. I'm, it just plays dead. So for me, what I did was I placed a bunch of shorts around each of these lines because as it broke down, remember what we said: the support becomes a resistance on the way back up, right? So 264 is a huge resistance uh 251 it broke so that was the support it broke under so i have a bunch of shorts around this area i was all over the around the 260s to the, the near the 260 line it never hit i said screw it i'm not going to touch it and then i looked at rhe let me put this back so the hot trick of the day was rhe man so let's take a look at how we go through so remember everything is around process okay I, I it's the systematic process I go through to do my due diligence to do the research on the stock okay you, you basically have to do this if you're lazy and you don't look if, up the stuff and you just kind of rely on the charts alone you're dead you, you have to use 
You have to do some research to figure out what the stock fundamentals are, as well as know where the resistance and support is, okay? You can't just have one or the other. You need both. So do not get lazy on this stuff. And it's very quick, man. You can do all this research in a matter of minutes. So let's, let's figure out how we do it. So RHE, when we woke up, so I have a scanner and it's all over the scanner. So you don't even need to pay for a scanner, guys, okay? Uh, if you're trying to save money, don't, don't, don't use the scanner. Uh, some guys, I mean, the guys in the room have scanners. They will post it for you. I post my stuff every day. Um, you use scanners, it's, it's completely fine if uh, you don't trade what we do. But like I said, if you do trade what we do to save some money initially before you, you know, if you have little money, get rid of your scanner, man, in my opinion. Um, the more money you have, of course, you add more scanners, you have some news and all that stuff. But if you want to be low budget and a lot of you guys are under pattern day trader, and this is how you can save 200 bucks a month, man. Just get rid of your scanner, guys. Um, all right, so what do I use? So I use Finviz just to do a very quick rudimentary analysis of what we call fundamentals. So the fundamentals of the stock is this. So RHE, I woke up and like, what the heck's going on? There's actually no news on this that's posted on here. Uh, I, this is why you get rid of your scanner and you use <laughs> a chat room because I actually asked someone in the chat room, I posted it, why is RHE up? I cannot find the news. Why is it up? And someone told me because of some filing that they sold and all this stuff. Remember, I'm not the expert on fundamentals, guys. I'm not the experts on filing. I don't have a, I'm not a CPA. I'm not certified. I'm not a accountant. I'm not a CPA. I don't know how, I mean, I'm just learning this just as you are. I just have to have more experience than you. But you know what, man? In, in reality is this, you cannot be the master of everything. There's so much to learn, dude. I can spend my whole entire lifetime being a, uh, an analyst and reading and analyzing these filings and knowing what these filings are, where the warrants are and all that stuff, okay? To be honest, dude, I mean, that's not my specialty. I don't need to be. I have a very good specialty, which is the technical stuff. And this is where my friends and my tab and you guys come in. You guys are good at this stuff. So why not? So we share information. So this is how we use MIC and work as a team, guys. You know, we share information. So and that's why you know, I share with you my lines and all that. So let's take a look at how I come up with this. So the first thing I, I do is I look at very first thing I always look, you always have to look at the float. Dude, this float is like nothing. It's like nothing. 1 million shares, 1.5 million shares. And 12% of it is already owned by institutional with 16% short float. So you know like this sucker is like nano float. It's tiny, dude. It's only like a million float, okay? And you take a look at the market cap, 1.9 million. So I have this rule, man. This rule is like very, I mean, my rule is I do not hold overnight any low flow stocks that one individual can come in and buy the whole entire company because it's way too easy to manipulate the stock. And it's been done many times by people. All I need to do is put out, how much do I need to put out? The market cap's like nothing. Uh, sure, it doubled. And so right now the cup cap is doubled, but at $2.50, I'll just make it up, right? $2.50, if you buy 100 freaking thousand shares, that's, that's only $200,000 of the stock. And I'm sure some guy put a million dollars in this thing and squeezed everybody out, okay? So that's just my rule of thumb. I don't care if there's no dilution. I don't care anything. So my rule of thumb is, dude, when you see a small ass float like this, you go, ho, ho, wait, let's wait. You know, let's not to be eager to short. And especially overnight, I don't give a damn if it's broke the, the death line, all that. You ha it's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. You wake up one day, they announce some crap and some guy pumps it up. So it's not worth it to, so when I see a situation like this, the long side is the, the side that usually wins. Okay. So I saw this. So the first thing that comes to mind was, okay, I'm going to do some research to see if there's uh, dilution or any sort of um, offerings or anything like that, right? Some dilution going on, some um, finan financing. So I look at this, I don't see anything. S8, 
That's for employees. And I don't see anything uh, until like two years ago almost, right? So I'm like, dude, this looks clean. But once again, I am not a filings expert. There might be dirty warrants in here, all this stuff, all the way back in 2017. But at a quick glance, this is all I need to know to trade. Okay? Uh, the guys that are drilling into this and know there's warrants in here and all that stuff, you know, that's great. The more information you know, the better. But at the same time, guys, too much knowledge can, can bite you up the ass because you, you go, oh, this thing is dirty, man. This is a piece of shit. I'm going to short the crap out of it. Next thing you know, you're, you're stuck upside down. At the end of the day, who gives a fuck if this is a piece of shit company? It doesn't matter. The float is so damn small, it doesn't take much volume for it to be rotated and squeezed. And that's what it did in the morning. So in the morning, oh crap, look at MBRX, dude. Remember I warned about this? We'll talk about this in a little bit too. Remember I warned about this, a forward looking event. So it doesn't matter short term, intraday, by the hour, it does not matter if this thing is a piece of crap company. What matters at that time is can you sustain holding that short all the way to the top? No, you cannot. Timing is everything, okay? Just because a company is a piece of crap doesn't mean that it's an automatic short. You have to wait for the play to go out, okay? And so that's what we did. So in the morning, we identified there is no dilution, nothing. So I'm like, dude, this is an awesome first bounce candidate. So let me do that, okay? I'm going to show you all my P&L and everything too. So, but for now, let's, I'm going to hide it just so that you don't focus on that. Uh, what you're going to focus on is what I did. Okay, so let's move that stock over here, HRT. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.